So, so today we're going to be considering how do we convert between parts per million and molar. Now, before we get started, let's first make sure that we're on the same page with parts per million. So parts per million can be quite confusing, ppm, <clears throat> but it doesn't have to be. The way that I like to think about parts per million is a bit like a percentage. So when we say 10 in 100 people have a disease, we might say, oh, 10% of people have that disease. Another way to express this is 10 parts per 100. You can imagine that we literally replace that percentage sign with the words parts per 100. It's not a normal way to do it, but it's certainly valid. There are 10 parts per 100 parts that are broken. You might be in a car shop, you might say, oh, 10 cogs out of the 100 cogs are broken. 10%, 10 parts per 100. Parts per million is a very similar concept that's applied in times when percentages might be a little bit unwieldy. So if you had, let's say, 10, um, 10 in 1 million people be sick, we could certainly compute a percentage. It just wouldn't be very easy. So we could have 10 over 1 million times 100%. If we cancel out all the zeros, one, two, two, that would equal to 0.0001%, which is a bit tricky to use. Another way instead of using percentages is using parts per million. So in this case, if we have 10 parts in 1 million parts, we will just simply call this 10 parts per million. <clears throat> And that's all there is to it. That is what parts per million is. So for example, if I had <coughs> uh, 100, uh, 10, 100 grams in 1 million grams, so let's say that in 1 million grams of sugar, 100 of them were radioactive, or 100 of them were, were, were of poison, right? Then I could call this 100 parts per million are poison. Yes, misspelled poison. Um, so that's all that there is to parts per million. So now that we understand this, let's also com let's let's use this idea with the concept of molarity to um, figure out how we can convert between them. So if we have the concept of moles per liter, let's take an example. Let's say that we have something that is one mole per liter. Okay, that's easy enough. So one mole per liter would, would mean that, so, so let's say that um, we have one, per, one mole per liter. Now obviously one mole has some mass, right? Moles must have mass, atoms have mass. Let's say that it is going to be one mole weighs two grams, right? That's just an example. It doesn't have to be like that. So therefore, I, what I can say is that, well, I can say, well, therefore, I can have two grams per liter. And let's say it's, I've implied this, but it's a liter of water, right? Too easy so far. Now, one, now, you might know this or you might not, but one liter of water is actually equal to one kilogram. That is how they defined it when they were making the SI units. So one liter of water is equal to one kilogram. So I can say that two grams per one thousand grams, right? Kilo, one kilogram is a thousand grams. And so this is beginning to look a bit like what we had before. <clears throat> this is two parts per one thousand parts. So I could call this two parts per thousand if I wanted to. But I don't want to, I want to use parts per million, right? Because I'm feeling fancy. So how do I do this? Well, I'm going to multiply both sides by 1,000. Why would I do 1,000? Well, 1,000 times 1,000 is a million. So I'm going to have 1 million on this side. And that's good because I want parts per million. I'll have 2,000 on this side. I have 2,000 parts per 1 million. This is equal to 2 parts per million. Okay. <clears throat> now let's use this concept and so that, so that was a crude example of how I converted between moles per liter 
and parts per million. Oh, sorry, no, so that, that should say 2,000 parts per million, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <coughs> so let's use this information with a real example and see how we go. So let's say that we're asked to convert um, 0.0023 moles per litre into parts per million. Now the first thing that we need to do is let's is, is first with is we is we should write this out right so it's moles of lead per one liter of water. Now, <clears throat> as we mentioned before, obviously, uh, one mole of lead or so, however many moles of lead must have some mass. Let us convert this in, into mass. So, if we want to figure out the mass of lead. Well, we know that mass just seems to moles times the molar mass, which is equal to the moles of lead multiplied by the molar mass of lead, 207.2, which is going to equal to, equal to 0.0477 grams. <clears throat> so, so what this is saying is that I have, therefore, this, I have 0.0477 grams of lead Per one liter of water. But that's not very exciting so far. Let's let's see if we can kind of dig a bit deeper with this. I have zero point zero four seven seven grams of lead per one thousand grams of water. Isn't that right? Because we know that one liter is equal to one kilogram, and one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. It's a bit of ratio work. Now again, just like before. It's a little bit annoying to be dealing with um, something that isn't a million. So let's multiply this by one million. Uh, sorry, by a thousand, and this by a thousand, to get us in, into the millions. So I have zero. So, sorry. So I'll have one. So maybe this three. One, two, three. Uh, Forty-seven point seven grams per one million grams. Right. <clears throat> now, obviously, now. That must mean that the grams can cancel out because this is just just a fraction. If you want to imagine that the per disappears, it's just a ratio sign. So this this must be a forty-seven point seven parts per million, right? Forty-seven point seven parts per million of I think we said lead. So forty-seven point seven parts per million of lead, and you can always apply this. It's always going to work. Let's try this with another example where we're, go we're going to be converting from parts per million into moles per litre. Let's say that we're asked to convert 5.6 parts per, parts per million of arsenic into moles per litre. So the first step here is that we need to be able to write this out again. So this is 5.6 <coughs> grams of arsenic per 1 million grams of water. Now let's now let's convert now let's see how many actual grams of arsenic we have. Mass by molar mass. 5.6 grams of arsenic, and let's see how many um and, and let's plug in the molar mass of arsenic, which is 74, 74.922 atomic mass units. <clears throat> so that's gonna be 5.6 over 74.922 is equal to 0.0747. Uh, moles. So therefore, I can say that I have 0 0.0747 moles per 1,000, well, sorry, 1 million uh, liters of water. Oh, uh, sorry, no, per million grams of water, what am I doing? Now, obviously, I don't want this in grams, I want this in liters. I'm trying to find moles per liter. So I can also say this is 0 0.0747 moles per 1,000 kilograms of water. And again, I can also convert this 1,000 kilograms into 1,000 liters, because we know that um, one liter is equal to one kilogram. Now I want to divide by both sides, because I want to have <coughs> just one liter on this side. So, so I'm going to have 0 
zero 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 seven four seven it's a lot of zeros per one liter of water mole sorry so this is going to equal to zero point zero 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 seven four seven moles per liter and that's about all there is to it i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye